current and drift velocity this is also very important relation current and drift velocity for that we are considering a conductor here you can see that the direction of drift velocity this is the direction of drift velocity this is the direction of current and this is the direction of electric field length of the conductor is l and area of cross section is a okay so we are writing consider a conductor of length l there is an external electric field e it is mentioned here the length of the conductor is l and there is an external electric field e the area of cross section is a the area is a that is also mentioned here so you can draw the diagram and you can start writing the explanation okay electrons are moving with a velocity vd because of this e okay the drift velocity is vd and electrons are moving with a velocity of v n is the number of electrons per unit volume n is the number of electrons per unit volume we are introducing a new term it is known as number density number density is the number of electrons in unit volume in 1 meter cube how many electrons are there that is number density that is very important n is the number density in 1 meter cube how many electrons are there now we are going to find the volume of this conductor what is the volume of this conductor area of cross section is a length is l how to find the volume l the volume is a into l right so the volume is a into l and what will be the number of electrons in this volume what will be the number of electron in this volume it is nal so total number of electrons in the conductor is equal to l is the volume and in one volume there are n electron that is number density so total number of electron in this volume it will be nal okay now what will be the total charge the charge of one electron is minus e right yes it will be charge of on uh, total charge in the conductor will be minus n e a l e is the charge of one electron there are e is the charge of one electron so it will be minus n e a l it is it is a total charge because charge of one electron is minus e okay what is equation for time taken by the electron to travel distance l time is equal to distance by velocity okay time taken by the electron to travel the distance l the electrons are traveling the distance of l because l is the length of the conductor right l is the length of the conductor so we can write distance is l and velocity what is the velocity of electron each electron vd drift velocity l by vd so first we are finding total number of electron in the conductor it is n into a into l and total charge in the conductor charge of one electron is minus e so total charge q will be equal to minus n into e into l then we are finding time time t why we are finding time t and charge q because there is a relation between current and time current charge time i equal to q by t that's why we are finding this so time t is l by vd because time is equal to distance by velocity distance is l because electrons are traveling a distance of l and velocity is v i equal to q by t that's our equation what is the value of q we have made an equation for q q equal to minus n e a l so we can write i equal to minus n e a l minus n e a l divided by what is time t l by vd now what we can do here we can take the multiplicative inverse or you can cancel it from here itself no problem i'm going to take the multiplicative inverse i equal to minus n e a l into v vd by l which all term will cancel here here you can see that l and l it will cancel each other right l and l it will cancel each other i equal to minus n e a v d that is the equation i equal to minus n e a v d just compare the direction of drift velocity and direction of current direction of drift velocity what is the direction of drift velocity 
this is the direction right this is the direction of drift velocity here the green arrow it is the direction of drift velocity these these are electrons if electrons are moving in right direction the current will be in left direction opposite of flow of electron so here this is the direction of drift velocity and current will be opposite to that drift velocity current and drift velocity they are opposite in direction that's the reason for the negative negative sign shows the direction of current is opposite to the drift velocity if you are not considering the direction you can write nea vd also okay if you are not considering the direction you can write i equal to nea vd